In this video, I'll go over how to add checkboxes to your spreadsheet and even add some basic built-in functionality to allow your checkboxes to be a little bit more useful for you. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. To get started, we need to turn on the Form Control Toolbar. Under View, Toolbars, make sure Form Controls is selected. Now we see the toolbar appear, and in order to add the checkbox and turn this grayed out icon to be enabled, we must choose the design mode. Once that's selected, then we can choose checkbox and then click and drag with your mouse where you want the checkbox to appear. Then we can right click on it, choose copy, and then paste it into other cells. There is no quick way to generate a whole column of checkboxes so copy and pasting is the way to go unless you're very good with creating macros now regarding the position of the checkbox we want to make sure to anchor it properly either anchor it to the cell or to the cell resize with cell anchoring it to the page is not recommended because it won't move along with the columns and rows when you resize it for example, if I resize the column before it, we see that this checkbox stayed in position but turned out to be in row 4 instead of row 5. When I anchor it to the cell and I resize the column before it, it stayed within row 4. And when we right click, these options allow us to customize the checkbox even more such as fit to the cell size and adjust the name and a few other things. Now I'll go into the control properties. This allows us to change the name of the label. And if I click directly on a separate checkbox, I can make changes to that as well. Now in order to add some functionality, we can go to the data tab and for linked cell, choose where we want some text to appear. Here I'll use F9. For this checkbox, I'll use a linked cell of F13. And I'll put in something for the reference value. And I'll use an emoji here. And when the box is unchecked, I'll put in. So what I set up here is fairly self-explanatory. Once I select or unselect the checkbox, it'll show me either reference value for on or off. Because I'm in design mode right now, clicking the checkbox actually doesn't do anything besides selecting the control. But I'll demonstrate it in just a second. Another functionality we can do is with checkboxes, we can link it to certain events. And we are able to assign a macro to it. I've already created a basic macro, but you can create your own to do any sort of thing within your spreadsheet. So this just means whenever an action is taken on the checkbox, it'll run my macro. Now I'll exit design mode. I'll just click to exit. And now I can use my checkbox. Once I've selected it, all it does is show a hello message. And when I deselect it, it shows the same message. If you wanted the macro to target whether the box is selected or not, it requires your macro code to look into that and is advanced functionality beyond the scope of this video. Now when I click here, the default value given is true. And when I deselect it, it shows false. If you remember, I didn't put in anything for the reference value here. And for this checkbox, it's showing the value I put in. And same thing when I deselect it. 
I can expand my column width a little bit more. And if you notice here, the checkbox label still looks cut off. And that's because I didn't set it to resize with the column. So I'll go back into designer mode. I can choose fit to cell size. Now it looks better, but I'll make sure to anchor it properly. So now when I resize the column, it looks a little bit better. And one last tip that I'll mention is for the reference value. If we type in the value in the reference, it'll actually check or uncheck the box based on which value we use. Now I'll get into the reference value here. It's actually blank. But calc uses true and false when we don't provide anything in here. If I use something like yes or no, because it's linked, it will actually take action on the checkbox even without me having to select it. So that's it for this video. Feel free to leave a comment as to what you use checkboxes for or if you have any questions on using checkboxes in Calc. Thank you very much for watching and as always, stay nifty.